Hey guys, Francis here today and uh, back with another video of my American vlog. And in this video I'll be talking about my adventures in uh, San Francisco. And yeah, so let's get to it. So after arriving from the airport, uh, we uh, traveled to the Golden Gate Bridge. But first, we had to like travel from the airport straight to um, the street called Lombard Street. And if you're not familiar with that famous street, this street is known for its rather strange and unusual appearance. It is crooked and it is wiggly. So as you will see in my video that I will put up, that most of the cars will be traveling at one or two miles per hour, just going from one end to the other through the curve. And of course the pathway is quite steep as well alongside it. And uh, it's also a bit curvy, but not to the extent of the one on the road. And to be honest, I don't know why it's famous for that curve, but that's Lombard Street. After going to Lombard Street, we then went to the Golden Gate Bridge and I have seen the Golden Gate Bridge in a lot of films and I do not know why it constantly aimed at, especially in monster films like Pacific Rim, Cloverfield, as well as the 98 Godzilla and the legendary 2014 Godzilla, where monsters just constantly go to that bridge and break it. And speaking of the bridge itself, I have seen one of the segments of the rope of um, the uh, display before the bridge and uh, I can see that it is quite big. It's like the size of my mirror, but then like four times the size without the corners. And inside that segment you would see a lot more the smaller uh, thread of wires. Yeah. So they're all compressed into that one bit to just connect the whole bridge and it really surprised me of how our, our suspension bridge would have that sort of thing because I don't know very much about bridges. Yeah, after walking around the exhibition where they had the model and the experiment of building the bridge, I can see that they had a bit of issues making that bridge but then they had more fundamental sort of experiment in making it in that small scale. It's quite interesting because I'm not really into bridges because I go on bridges all the time. But this bridge is extra special because it's a suspension bridge and they are quite common in San Francisco. When I was walking I noticed that when I was walking on the sidewalk I heard the um, one of the strangest noises I've ever heard. Uh, you know the, the textured bumps? And when the cars go over it, I would hear not necessarily a fart as you would fart, but it sounds like a fart. And like me and my brother were staying there for like five minutes, just listening to that noise and cars passing by. And the noise would just automatically make us laugh. So, yeah, very <laughs> entertaining. California is like Texas, but then again, the theme is different. It's more like, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like the Philippines again. <laughs> On the next day of our stay in California, we went to Toys R Us. Yes, because I wanted to see what they have in Toys R Us, and they have some major toys that we have here and some that we don't. As well as Lego, Minecraft, Power Rangers, Star Wars, and Nerf. So yeah, and uh, I was able to like look around and see some other toys. I saw this um, Godzilla toy. It's not original, but the original, original Godzilla. Like the Showa era of Godzilla. Not the one in 1954, but I think in later, like 1956 or something. Yeah. Anyway, so um, 
After going to Toys R Us, we then went to Target. Target, I mean. So after like looking at the toys, I was able to see some cameras that I might invest in since I'm still using my phone and I kind of don't like it. But anyway, moving on. So cameras, cases, accessories, all sorts of gadgets and gizmos and then um, memory cards. And speaking of memory cards, I was able to like upgrade my memory card from a 16 gigabyte to a uh, 64 gigabyte. And uh, I have a footage of me unboxing it. Anyway, that's that. Not really much fun, is it? At least I get to see what they have compared to what we have in here. So the next day, we went to Discovery Kingdom. I have quite a lot to say about it. I can only say it's awesome. The rides are just insane. So here I have the map. Yeah, so you can see it's quite big. Uh, the one I went on was the uh, Medusa, and then I went to Kong, and then I went to uh, Superman. So Medusa was the first one, as you saw in the clip. Yeah, it's quite really fun actually. I like that one. It wasn't too violent, it wasn't too harsh, it was enjoyable and pretty fun as well. And I was a bit amused because everyone was screaming so loudly. I mean loudly. And yeah. I enjoyed quite a bit of twirling and loops. But the twirls were more fun than the loops. Or both fun, I don't know. Because I actually enjoyed it. And the next one was Kong. Kong was kind of controversial. It was quite short, much shorter than Medusa, and it was too fast. It was too violent, there was a lot more harsh twirling. Superman was kind of strange for me because you go forward and backward and then forward and then all the way back again. It kind of is replicating how Superman would fly in the air, because he does dash in the air at some point. The twirling wasn't so bad. It's quite gentle and soft. Again, I'm not gonna rant. When we were waiting for the roller coaster, I thought that it was very fast. Like, it was under a minute, the ride, the duration of the ride. But before all of that, um, we went to... Oh yeah, the O... No, let me go. The Oasis Plaza. It's okay. Although, me and my brother were too big for the seat. Way too big. Our legs wouldn't fit properly. Even our body couldn't even <laughs> fit under the seat belt. And yeah. We went go-karting. It was quite okay. I haven't been go-karting for a while. Yeah. Those cars were okay. That was Discovery Kingdom in California. It was quite interesting. So yeah, that was Discovery Kingdom. So that is it for my San Francisco and California vlog. Let me know in the comment section below of what you think about this vlog and if you have been to both San Francisco and California, drop them in the comment section below. And yeah, see you in my next video and of course if you're not already, please subscribe and like this video and catch you next time.